Hello everybody, this is Saphir the Storyteller and I am going through my writer's lift selecting something to read and then reading it back to you. Thought it'd be interesting. Uh, today I've found a blog by a competing female powerlift and queer RPG designer. Um, her name is Chris Apanio Tumimin. And very sorry for mangling the name. I am guessing that it's Dutch and um, I am very ignorant. I do not know uh, Dutch. Um, she obviously knows English. Um, and I will leave a link to the blog because um, spelling out um, her uh, blogging website would take a million years. So I want to jump right into this uh, blog. Um, I'm very interested in cyberpunk. Um, I've written cyberpunk for um, various projects. I like to get involved in cyberpunk projects, have my own uh, cyberpunk writing with the tavern wench. And uh, this one is called cyberpunk movies to inspire your genre gaming plus some gaming stuff too. Um, and what it is, is basically a list of really cool B-level B uh, cyberpunk movies that have inspired um, her cyberpunk RPG and it might inspire you as well. So I'll go through them. Um, if you don't want to listen to me, you can go to the website. It will be in the links and um, I'll you know, flash up every single thing that um, I talk about today. So cyberpunk, according to Chris, but also according to me, uh, cyberpunk is a cool genre of books, TVs, books, movies, TV series, comics, cartoons, clothing styles, and various types of games. Um, Chris, she is a role-playing game moderator who likes to make her own adventures for role-playing sessions. Um, she finds it useful to watch inspirational genre movies and because sharing is caring, she is sharing a few of them with me and I'm sharing a few of them with you. So the first one that uh, Chris talks about is Hardware by Dylan McDermott, Stacey Travis, John Lynch. Hardware 1990 is nowadays considered some sort of cyberpunk cult B-movie classic. That's a word, that's a mouthful. And um, it's no wonder why this is the case. It has leather, it has darkness, violent fights, sorrow, pain, madness, robotics, cybernetics, far out net, audio visuals, um, certain sexiness, coolness, and a whole lot of F U attitude. Um, and yeah, the, the movie poster is cool. It's a really cool movie poster. Um, so it's not the world's best indie flick, but it's worth a watch, especially if you're into the cyberpunk genre. Um, next one she mentions is Max Headroom, 20 Minutes Into the Future, that's 1985. It's a television produced uh, cyberpunk movie, even with its oddities and glumsiness. I like that. I like the mix of clum, <laughs> glum <laughs> and clumsiness. Um, movie achieves to tell an interesting story, some cool aesthetics as well, and it's cyberpunk scruffiness. Um, she likes it. I like it as well. Virus, 1999. Interesting cyberpunk movie with really cool particle effects. Plot is kind of bad. Not just clumsy and flimsy, but bad. Um, no matter how bad the acting is, it's a very good looking movie. Um, very good moments too, um, style, attitude, there's a lot that you could take from that into the gaming. Um, not so much uh, plot wise, um, it's fun to take some virus plot points um, and things that the characters say and take it into an RPG game. Um, Chris mentions paranoia, um, it would be a killer session so she likes it, she's laughing her tits and ass off. Um, see, uh, very inspiring. Um, next one is uh, 10K, 
It's a modern digital TV drama series which tells a grim story of survivors in ever in a frozen future. A very cyberpunk, totally interesting, kind of freshy touch and takes on the genre of a dark future action drama. Interesting, provides good plot ideas and plot twists to the role-playing adventure creating game. Interesting. Terminal Force, a.k.a. Galaxis, 1995. Managed to keep some of its edginess and bittiness over time. It's not the edgiest of the edgy movies, but it's good. At least it's a good movie. It's a good bad movie. <laughs> not sure what that means. Um, it has darkness, twisted plots, big guns, big ugly spaceships, very bad villains, leather, robot weird cybernetics and hell of a sexy cyberpunk babe acted by the young bridget nelson so it's a very inspirational movie still inspirational today today is 2020 um four years after that so that's really cool uh, i think i'll, I'll um uh, promote that one a digital man that's the next one digital man is a bit like cyborg and nemesis movies put in the same sauce with Starship Troopers and served with a full salad of Total Recall and Robocop ripoffs. I like it. Has a certain taste. Visually cheap indie cyberpunk flick. Um, big guns, evil cyborgs, vast desert action, more action. Um, interesting choices of clothing, interesting cybernetics, guns and gears and other cool and hot elements of cyberpunk. Good trash movie in all, worthy a watch. Go to it. Prototype X29A. Uh, very cheap looking cyberpunk action movie that is so bad that it's almost good. Really doesn't make any sense, but it's weird. Cool look and style, and it's entertaining to watch. This might work as inspirational material for violent and simple subplots for cyberpunk 2020 role playing gaming. There you go. Um, might work for action oriented Shadowrun sessions too. Yeah, I'm sure this makes more sense to um, the game ones than to me. Um, yeah. Next, Crime Zone, 1988, cyberpunk movie that has a right attitude, right look, equals coolness. It's all about coolness in the crime zone. Nice, nice. I thought it was all about crime in the crime zone. Apparently, alternate name for the crime zone would have been the cool zone, because it's all about the coolness. Um, anyway, the movie is made with really bad taste, a Roger Corman movie, so bad taste flick um cool funny and it's just cool it, it, it's all about coolness in the crime zone man all about crime in the cool zone i think that's what we should be saying a very cool daring indie flick like daring um and yeah she's she she's honest with us peeps um you know there's there's quite a few role-playing games that might have used some of this movie's ideas um, so this might have been an inspirational movie to many indie games and adventure designs. Very inspirational material for brainstorming on the tacky main and side plots. Um, put in a cyberpunk adventure. Rotor. R-O-T-O-R. 1987. It's a B... C, no, it's, it's a D movie. That is that bad. Um, yeah, actually... <laughs> Chrissy thinks it's an X-class movie. I mean, that takes it to another genre altogether. Looks bad, sounds awful. The plot, apparently, if there's any plot, stupid as her jogging shoes. Uh, that have a hole in it, that's why they're stupid. Um, but there's robots, cybernetics, big guns, leather, robot, fast action, and lots of one-liners. I mean, isn't that what cyberpunk's all about, though? <laughs> uh, Millennium, I know, I know this one. Um, nineteen eighty nine, fascinating disaster movie with a twist of time travel. Ah, and obviously this movie shows interesting devices, hairdos, mechanics, weapons, and style from the future. 
man, the future. Um, at least there is style in the future. Um, a whole lot of good one-liners and thrilling action. Not forgetting about the villains and adversaries. Good, but a bit silly adventure. Yes, it's cyberpunk. The silly Billy. Metal Storm. The destruction of Jared Sin. Hell of a good ride of an action movie. Oh, that's a good one. She likes this one. Elements from different sci-fi sources. Half man, half machine. Epic battles on a very epic scale. Leather, rubber hairdos and such. It seems like a shadow run RPG session. And that's been played as a sci-fi parody one shot where everything can happen. It's both cyberpunk and fantasy. Very surreal too. Mm, metal Storm. Nice. Escape from New York. Classic. Classic. Man, Snake Bliskin, yo. Um, all time classic with bloody manic action scenes where paranoid and greasiness rules and fist talk tell a tale worth watching. Whoa. Just skimming through cyberpunk genre role play books. You can notice how this movie has had its effect, especially on those wild gangs that rule cyberpunk cities. And something oddly familiar with the police force too. Hmm. Yeah, obviously, just a parody of modern police forces. And modern police forces are probably a lot worse than the imagination of Escape from New York. They Live, this is another one. I I know this one. They Live is one of the oddball movies, even among the satiric, dark humoured and plain weird independent movies. Hell of a haunting and taunting movie. Haunting and taunting. This girl is poetry unleashed that makes the watcher think about her society and her heavy duty consuming, not the world's most cyberpunkish movie aesthetically. But as a sense of creating paranoid, twisting feeling, very paranoid and true to the dark and ugly lifestyle of the cyberpunk genre. Great indie classic holds on to its usual ideas for game, table gaming at the end of the day. Guys, it's not just movies that inspires, let's get some related games too. Ooh, interesting. I know that some of these stuff. Doom. The game was world shaking and that made a revolution in the fields of the game developing, game designing, game producing, game franchising, gaming to gamer. And the game is totally cyberpunk in many forms, ramming the same bubbling, rammed in the same bubbling pot and served to enjoying gamers. Mmm, mmm. The document above. Um, tells Doom's story in a very interesting and entertaining way. I'm not going to go through the Doom Slayer. It's the Catholic Church, mate. It's the Catholic Church. Everybody in the world is a demon. You're the only Doom Slayer. Everybody else in the world is a demon. That's what Doom is all about. It is. It is so like... I'm the one, everybody else fought them with a chainsaw and a shotgun. Um, yeah, and of course there was a Doom movie in 2005, set in a cybernetic hell. Um, a whole lot of cyberpunk weapons, outfits, armors, cars, exploitations to it. Cyberpunk with hellish monsters on it, cool combinations, not very appreciated, hell of a underappreciated movie. There you go, man. And then there's a Doom Annihilation 2019. Lots of guns, lots of big guns, lots of huge guns, too. Brainless modern cyberpunk, B flick, and um, base conversion. Grim looking places, certain ugliness attached to the atmosphere. It certainly looks beautiful, beautifully ugly. Um, I, I know this one, John Carpenter, Ghost of Mars. So the doom to Ghost of Mars, is uh, it follows a theme there. Um, Sci-fi, horror, action, thriller, many elements of cyberpunk in terms of style, habitus, cyberpunk experience. Dread, I like dread. Um, very, very cyberpunk, very, very 
dystopian future dark grim future especially in the gang block of fights of mega one cities new drug called slow-mo is making people go crazy so madness is guaranteed and ooh we <laughs> according to chris how crazy action thrill joyride is this judge dread fans who like their action high mercy low and yeesh Dread movies, hardcore to the bone, cyberpunk action fueled manic trip of human cruelness, and this very dark and gruesome future where there is no future. At least not to the criminals, they're executed right away. Maybe they're the lucky ones. And to the rest, well, ain't bright future either. So Dread's future world is basically no future world. And that, my friends and readers, is punk as Dread. And yes, very cyberpunk indeed. She likes it, I like it. A uh, friend of the 90s movie know that the 1995 released the Judge Dredd movie starring Sylvester Stallone. I'm, I mean, uh, Chris puts Rambo here, but I'd say The Expendables. I, I'd, I'd actually say Rocky, um, but Rambo as well. Uh, many people hate the movies. Chris kind of likes it. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, I much prefer the new Dread movie as well. Um, next one, I'll just talk about the message from space, nineteen seventy eight. So this is an old ass movie before Star Wars. It's not cyberpunk per se, but it has epic battles, massive explosion, explosions, big ugly spaceships. I really wonder. I don't know. I don't tend to think. Yeah, I guess you're right. Cyberpunk is a bit of spaceshipy as well. Really cool outfits. Um, certain cyberpunk vibes to them. Cyberpunk armor, weird tech weapons, cyberpunk elements to it. The Eliminators, nineteen eighty six, is a movie you want to entertain and shock a bit of viewers. It is mandroid action. Yes, the trailer calls it as a mandroid more machine than a human so mandroid it is there you go the uh, uh, movie has ninja action and a hot babe mm, nice um a whole lot of explosion while ch ch chases epic battles and it's inspired uh, chris to write the number of cyberpunk adventures for her gaming group um it will bring endless joy Class of 1984, nice, which was in 1982. Um, and of course, this is in reference to 1984. Um, cult classic ex sexploitation action thriller sent, set on apparently depicting a very wild and mad dystopian world set in the future as it's quite different from that year was yeah pretty damn boring but in the background it was exciting um even when the year 1984 is just two years from the released year it wasn't a realistic future vision it kind of reflects the paranoid violent world of the early 1980s apparently the movie is set to some kind of parallel timeline in whatever the case, it may be the timeline of the idea of 1984 world. It's real dystopian, low-tech future. The, the movie's world is basically every element of cyberpunk except the cybernetics and the technology. But the whole attitude, paranoia, raging madness, look and sound and style and the street fights are as cyberpunk as cyberpunk can be. Like it. Oh, this is a good one. I know this one. Hackers, 1995. Weird, interesting. Depends on how you're looking. Combined to a comedic teen movie. Critique of our society and modern culture. Quite mindless, fast-paced action movie. It looks and sounds, feels like a cyberpunk movie. So I guess it's a cyberpunk movie. Interesting net action sequences. Lawnmower Man. I like that one. That was a classic one mind-blowing experience to, to Chris it really showed a different world of the mind and and, and her
her mind and her soul how beautiful the world was but at the same time how ugly insane and terrifying it was i was quite quite disturbed by it to be honest um, cyberpunk scene was totally beautiful um cyber space scene was totally beautiful and sexy um to her still are and to her the movie's really cyberpunk horror movie at its best um she also like lawn woman too couldn't be so shocking and mind-blowing um but liked it as well strange days 1995 mad society mindless violence weird designer drugs criminal life raw soundtrack masses rioting there's a whole lot of fast-paced action very good looking scenes entertaining movie um oh man she is going for it well that um and of course she mentions uh cyberpunk the cyberpunk rpg cyberpunk 2027 digital game it's an rpg um mike pondsmith uh he's the uh you know he's a creator um and that is all of chris Tumamain's power lift up blogger rpg enthusiast recommendations for you I just read this, hope you enjoyed, um, every week I will take one writer's lift and I will read it for good or for bad. Till next time. <laughs>